Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel and thank you for clicking on this video. Sorry for the background noise. Uh, apparently, may construction lagi sa mga kapitbahay namin. Um, so, let me dive right into it. This is a video and still part of the series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out when things to civil service exam. And in this video, we're going to talk about some homonyms, okay? If you attended one of my previous uh, review events, you'd know na I devote a section of the lecture to homonym horrors. So I call them homonym horrors kasi ang homonym horrors are uh, yung ito yung mga dito nag uh, isa to sa mga common pitfalls when it comes to language or English. Homonyms are words na pareho ng tunog or magkatunog halos pero magkakaiba ng meaning. And the problem with us, especially if you're not a uh, prolific reader, prolific talaga, if you're not a voracious reader, oh, yan, mga vocabulary words natin, kung hindi ka mahilig magbasa basically, and nanonood ka lang ng videos or narinig-rinig mo lang to sa mga taong kilala mo, hindi mo alam siya i-spell. Okay? E pagdating sa exam, at nakita mo yung word, hindi mo alam na isang letter lang pala yung pinagkaiba or katunog naman siya basahin, iba pala siya ng meaning, you can get it wrong. Okay? So I wanted to devote a series of videos on this um, because it, I was actually uh, motivated by one of you guys. So Joey, I'm not going to give his last name uh, for privacy reasons but Joey actually asked me for help sa isang sa a couple of math questions yesterday. So he sent me the question early in the morning pero dahil busy ako kasi weekend kahapon Sunday and my twin sister was moving back into the house. Uh, late ko nang nakita and late ko nang nasagot. So mga around 12.30am. And actually I appreciate kasi Joey kasi uh, believe it or not, um, there are people kasi who send me questions tapos pag hindi ko sila sagot within a few minutes nagagalit um, and then they parang sinasabi nila parang akala ko gusto mong tumulong, yung mga ganun pero um, very patient si Joey and I'm thankful for him kasi uh, I also want you to understand din na there are times na hindi ako makasagot right away kasi uh, I have responsibilities then on the side so I have other work and I have shopping my family. Tulad kahapon weekend, Sunday. So, hindi ako nakasagot agad kasi I was doing stuff. And I'm actually thankful kay Joey kasi maganda yung response niya. And funny kasi may kasabay siya na nag-send din ng math problem na nagalit kasi hindi daw ako sumasagot. Pero sumasagot ako guys, okay? So, if you want to send in questions, go lang. Uh, sumasagot ako kaya lang baka hindi, mas, hindi agad, okay? Kasi I'm doing everything by myself. So, um, yung team like sa team like guys actually all of us kasama kayo sa team you are part of the team uh, hindi wala akong team wala akong people who work for me to help out so it's just me so kaya hindi ako nakasagot agad sa inyo I'm very sorry pahintay na lang sasagot din ako promise okay anyway ito yung sinabi ni Joey sa akin which triggered this series of videos and encouraged me and motivated me to start this up okay sabi niya sa akin is uh, okay lang ma'am na hindi kayo nakasagot agad um Kami nga dapat yung mag uh, kami nga dapat yung mag-adopt sa schedule ninyo. Okay? And then I told him na let's not waste this opportunity to, for learning kasi ang ginamit niyang word is adopt. Okay? Kailangan kami, kami yung mag-adopt sa schedule niyo. A D O P T. Pero the proper word na dapat gamitin sa sitwasyon na yun is adapt. A D A P T. Okay? Ngayon, na na naisip ko, okay, so um parang that's a good series to do. Um Para, parang quick lang sa English. So, this is homonym horrors, video number one. And I'm going to talk about um, more words like that. I already listed a few of them last night. And I'm going to post them intermitt intermittently, hopefully before o October matapos ko yung list that I made last night. Okay? So today, we're going to talk about three words na magkakatunog. Isang vowel lang ang difference nila. The first word is adapt. The second word is adopt. And the third, the third word is adept. Okay? Pero uh, just so madali i-compartmentalize yung different na uh, meanings nila, I'm going to start with adept first. So, ang spelling niya A-D-E-P-T. Okay? So, E yung gitnang vowel. Yung adept na word, actually, dalawa ang pronunciation niyan. Kasi dalawa yung klase ng definition ng, ad, ng word na yan. Pag spinel niyo siya. The first word is adept. Ang adept, ibig sabihin, yung tao, okay? It's a noun. Ibig sabihin, tao siya. Ang adept ay isang tao na magaling or mahusay. Okay? So, if for example, you can use a sentence like, Mary walked in to a room of math, mathematical adepts. Okay, oh, ayan, mga ganun. 
So, kung, ang ibig sabihin nun, si Mary daw pumasok sa isang kwarto na puno na mga taong mahuhusay sa math. Okay? So, yun yung unang definition. Pag sinap, ang basa mo sa kanya ay adept, ibig sabihin siya ay noun. So, this is also a little bit of pronunciation ano ba, guide for you guys. So, pag adept, tao. Same spelling, A-D-E-P-T. Ang pagkakasabi naman is adept. Okay? So, again na adept, adept. Pag adept na siya, ibig sabihin hindi na siya tao. Isa na siyang adjective. It's a way for you to describe a person. So, what you could say would be, still dun sa setting natin, Mary, uh, Mary's adept at solving mathematical problems too. Okay? So, yung first example natin na adept, Mary walked into a room full of mathematical adepts. Mary is adept at solving mathematical problems too. Ibig sabihin belong si Mary dun sa setting na yun. So, ang adept, again, is a description of a person. Yung adept, tao na mismo. So, those are the two definitions of the word adept. Okay? Ngayon, katunog siya at isang letter lang pinagkaiba dun sa adapt and adopt. Okay? And let's talk about Ad, uh, let's talk about adapt first. Okay? Ang word na adapt, yung A yung nasa gitna, it means to change, um, to change or to parang uh, evolve, kind of like that. To change, to fit a situation or to parang accept a new challenge. So, ang adapt, you think of it as a way na, as a, imagine it as a change. Okay? Adapt. Ibig sabihin, nakikibagay ka. Yun ang magandang Tagalog uh, trans translation nun. Nakikibagay ka, nakiki, nagbabago ka para sa sitwasyon. Okay? It's actually a verb. Ang ibig sabihin ng verb, it's an action word. So, ginagawa yun. You adapt. Ginagawa yun, action siya. Okay? And itong adapt na word na to, okay, ang ibig sabihin niya uh, is an action word in order for you to change or to uh, turn it into something else for a specific situation. So, uh, uh, I can give you two examples of how you can use the word adapt. First one is this. I, need, uh, um, I needed to adapt to Haley's uh, own sleep-wake cycle. Okay? So, yung sentence na yun, I needed to adapt to Haley's own sleep-wake cycle. Ibig sabihin ko nun, kasi I have a puppy, ang name niya is Haley. So, si Haley, I had to adapt. Ibig sabihin, kailangan kong baguhin. Kailangan kong magbago. May, mag, may baguhin ako sa sarili ko. Para makibagay doon sa sleep-wake cycle niya. Ibig sabihin, pag tulog siya, tulog ako. Pag gising siya, gising din ako. Para I can take care of her. So, yung first word, uh, first use of the word adapt. It's a proper action word. Sino nag-adapt? Ako. Okay? The second uh, way you can use the word the verb adapt is if you say something like... Um, that short film was adapted, okay, adapted from a book uh, that is much longer, okay? So, sabi, uh, again, uh, that short film was adapted from a book that was much longer, okay? So, ano yung inadapt? Uh, inadapt daw yung short film from a book, okay? Ngayon, yung dalawang klase ng sentence na yun, may difference yun, okay? Kasi uh, a verb can be transitive and intransitive. Ang ibig sabihin ng transitive tsaka intransitive, ang transitive, ibig sabihin, uh, laging may object. May object yung verb. For example, yung first one, I needed to adapt to Haley's sleep wake, uh, own sleep-wake cycle. Yung I needed to adapt doon, uh, wala namang tan sumasagot sa tanong na, ano, ano yun? Okay? Sino yung, uh, merong sino? Sinong nag-a-adapt? Ako. Pero walang ano. Okay? Pero sa second example natin na yun, that short film was... Uh, adapted from a long book. Uh, uh, yung adapted na yun, ano yung inadapt? Yung short film. Okay? So, in, yun ang transitive and intransitive. Pero, you don't have to uh, think of that so much naman. Hindi naman masyadong lumadabas yung ganong klaseng tanong sa civil service. But I just wanted to give you an idea about that. You can read up on transitive and intransitive verbs later on. Pero I wanted to mention that kasi it's another difference between adapt and adopt. Ang adopt kasi na word basically means ampon. Okay? To ampon or to take in, to start something, basically yun, ampon. Okay? So, kung ang sentence natin would be something like, um, my world changed when I adopted Haley. Okay? Uh, ibig sabihin, um, ang buhay ko nagbago, my entire world changed after inampon ko si Haley. Okay? Ayun, 
ang uh, word na adopt, lagi yung transitive. Ibig sabihin, laging may sumasagot sa tanong na, sino? Eh, ano yun? Ano? Ibig sabihin, ano yung inadopt? Sino yung inadopt? Sino yung inadopt? Si Haley. Okay? Uh, hindi ka tulad ng adapt. Hindi, hindi niya kailangan na laging merong may, may sagot sa tanong na ano. Okay? So, again, uh, this is the first video. I'm going to make more. If you want to see those other videos, you can click right here to subscribe so you could see. I'd love for you to um, maybe send me more homonym horrors if you, uh, you find other words confusing like, eh, bakit po ito magkatunog? Ano po yung pinagkaiba nila? Uh, send them over. Paste, you can post a comment below or send it to me sa Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. And I'd love to hear back from you. So again, if you want to subscribe, para malaman ninyo soon as the new video post, that, that's great. And if, you, if you're interested to attend the upcoming review event on July 30 and March, uh, July 30 and August 6, you can click below the link uh, so you can find out more about that. I'd love to see you there and teach you even more things. So God bless, guys. Aja, Aja, and I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. Ayan yan.